Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Pauly. Today we are going to be showing you how to make El Pollo Loco Avocado Salsa. Hit it! Alright, well thanks for watching. If this is your first time joining us, please do me a favor. Go down to the corner, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload new content. Alright, well you clicked on this video to have me show you how to make El Pollo Loco Avocado Salsa. So let's go down here and see what our ingredients are for this. We have two avocados, two jalapenos, uh, two tablespoons of, of vinegar, about a teaspoon and a half of salt, about a half a cup of fresh cilantro. We're going to use one small onion and not pictured is one and a half cups of water which I forgot to get into the photograph. So we'll add that as we're mixing this up. Let's go ahead and start mixing it up. First thing we want to do though is we want to kind of prep up our our vegetables. I'm going to de-seed and de-stem these jalapenos, take the skins off the avocado and take the seed out and then just kind of cut up our onion before we do all that, and it's gonna go right into our bowl here. Now, if you want this to be hot, you can leave the seeds and the membranes in your jalapenos. I choose not to do that, not that I'm afraid of heat, just because I am following the instructions on the recipe. But we all know, if you want it hotter, leave the seeds in and the little membranes that are in there as well. All right, those are done. Avocado, just simply pop out the seed, put our avocado right into the bowl. Same with the other one. Our onion, I'm just gonna cut it into quarters into the bowl. Our garlic, I'm just gonna set right there. All right, onion, avocado. Oh, might have to do this in two steps. And I think I will. Half the salt, half the cilantro, half of the vinegar, and of course half the water. Half garlic. Got our neutral bullet. Let me widen the shot here. Let's see how the first batch turned out here. Oh, that looks good. Smell, oh, that cilantro smells really good. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna finish this up. We're gonna get the whole batch made. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna throw it into a bowl with some chips. We're gonna take some awesome photos of it for social media. We're gonna lay those pictures into the timeline with some groovy music. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give this a taste. Enjoy the pictures, enjoy that music. Again, it, it smells really, really good. I can smell the garlic and the cilantro in it. Have not tasted it yet. Got a little chip right here. Here we go. Mm. Mm. 
This is really, really, really good. It's like a thinner version of a good guacamole with a lot of heat. Um, the cilantro comes through really, really good. The garlic in there, uh, the lemon brings out, uh, not the lemon, but the, uh, the vinegar brings out the acidity and kind of brings all those flavors out. Of course, the salt does its part by making those flavors stand out more. Um, this is really, really good. I think it's going to be my new favorite. Instead of making just plain old guacamole, I'm going to be using this. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out that description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already, and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time, right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.